Hey everybody, day 27 math. Also happens to be grandma's birthday. So this is a good way to meet for me to spend some time with all of you. Our mathematician of the day, Sir Isaac Newton. He's the one that does the law of gravity. He gets the idea from when an apple falls on his head. He lived around 1647 to 1727. About the time America was being formed. He's an Englishman, and he is recognized around the world as one of the greatest figures in the history of mathematics and science. He explained the laws of motion and gravitation and made important discoveries about light and color and developed calculus. All these important names. How big is it? Polar bears can be 10 feet tall. These mammals lived off in the frozen sea and are great swimmers and are taller than any basketball player. Most basketball player is big, but a big polar bear towers over him. Run! A bear can run faster than a person. Polar bears love meat. They eat whales, seals, and fish. And they don't see any difference between a person and a seal. They would eat you. How about... Tomorrow we'll talk about lobsters. Pretty exciting. All right, we talked about gallons and cups and pints and quarts, and here are the metric versions of them. Liters. A millimeter is like one drop. Ten milliliters equals a centiliter. One hundred centiliters is a liter. Many different types of drinks are sold in one liter bottles or two liter bottles. 1,000 liters is a kiloliter. wonder how much that would take to fill a bathtub. We've done a little bit about time. We've talked about a clock and it measures hours. But there's a minute hand and it goes around every minute. And it measures seconds. And a second is the time it takes to say the word Mississippi. So often little kids learn to count seconds by going one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. And if I did that 60 times, it would be a minute. 60 minutes equals an hour. 24 hours equals a day. And then we go from one day to seven days in a week and 52 weeks in a year and 365 days in a year and then it's time for your birthday again grandma's traveled around the sun 61 times so far and hopefully a lot longer a little bit about weights and measures <coughs> Well, we don't write checks very much anymore. The path the check or our debit card purchases does about the same thing, only it does it much faster than it used to. You literally, people would take the paper checks to the bank, and the bank would take that and get it to your bank, and you could write your check anywhere in the world. Now we use our debit cards or our credit cards for the same thing. A debit card takes my money right out of my bank right then. If I use my credit card, the credit card company pays that and then asks us to pay them with my debit card. But it goes from the place I purchased to the bank that they work with, and then that bank sends it to the depository, and then that depository gets it from our bank and sends it to them. It's a travel. But my debit cycle does the same thing. It just does it. Fair, bear, share. Regrouping. This is kind of what we do when we do multiplication and division. A fair, bear, share. I haven't found my book, The Doorbell Ring. I gotta go find that one. I forget that that's about math and it's tucked someplace else. I don't think it's actually tucked in my math book. 
a fair bear share. Oh, it looks like they're out picking blueberries. Do you remember when Grandma read you the book, Blueberries for Sale? And they met the bear. This time it's the bears dressed up. They're wearing clothes, so it's not a real bear. Mama Bear said to her four little cubs, if you'll collect enough nuts, berries, and seeds, then tonight I'll bake my special blue ribbon blueberry pie. And you'll each get a fair, bear share. The cubs went to the forest. There were lots of sweet tasted nuts. Three of them worked very hard. But the fourth little cub just wanted to play. She climbed trees, she swung from branches. She didn't even look for one nut. That's not very fair. The cubs ran home and gave their baskets to mama. She said, if we put the nuts in groups of 10 and put the ones that are left over next to the groups, then we can quickly add them up. The cubs picked up the nuts they had collected by 10s. The first cub had 11, the second 14, the third 12. The fourth cub didn't have any at all. So were there three 10s and seven leftover nuts? That's one group of 10 and one leftover, one group of 10 and four leftover, one group of 10 and two leftover, and zero. 11 plus 14 plus 12. 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 1 is 7, 10, 20, 30, 37 nuts. They're saying seven nuts together. Three of you did a very good job. Next, Cubs went to the field to pick big, juicy blueberries. Three of them picked really fast. Uh-oh. But the fourth little cub still wanted to play. She skipped and ran and chased after bees, and she didn't even pick a single berry. The cubs ran home with their baskets again. Let's group the berries by tens and by ones and add them all up, said Mama Bear. Whoa. Two piles of ten and one left over. One pile of ten and five left over. One group of 10 and three left over. 21 plus 15 plus 13. Three plus five is eight plus one is nine. 20, 30, 40. 49 berries. Three of you did your share of the work. The Cubs went to the meadow to find some new crunchy seeds. Three of them grabbed all they could. But the fourth little cub wanted to play some more. She turned lots of cartwheels. She jumped around. She didn't even grab one seed. Again, they ran home and gave Mama the baskets. Two groups of ten and three. A group of ten and a group of looks like eight. Two groups of ten and another some left over. That's two groups of ten and three left over, and one group of ten and seven left over, and two groups of ten and six left over. Ooh, hey, three plus seven makes a group of ten, so I can put those extras together and make another pile of ten. Six left over. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty-six. Three of you had done a very good job, said Mama Bear. Mama Bear looked at all the nuts and berries and seeds that had been collected. She said, I'm afraid that's not enough to make blue ribbon blueberry pie. Three of you worked very hard, I know, but one of you didn't do your fair, fair share. The three hardworking cubs all looked at the little sister, and she looked sadly down at the floor. All of a sudden, she jumped up, took three baskets, and hurried to the door. First, she ran to the forest and found lots of nuts. 
And then she skipped to the field and picked bunches of blueberries. She raced in the meadow and grabbed every seed she could. And she ran to the house, holding the baskets tightly. <coughs> she probably handed Mama her basket. Now it looks like you've worked hard, too. Let's put things in piles of ten and by ones and add them all to what we already have. She had 37 nuts. Before, and the little cub had 15 more. That made 52 altogether. That's a much bigger number. Mama Bear emptied the nest basket. What we already had. 40. Nine blueberries. Oh, little bear had 33 more. Three groups of 10 and three more. 49 plus 33 is 82. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. But when I put three and the nine together, I made another group and some extras, two extras. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Two blueberries. That's more like it to make a pot. I think I would still need some more. Mother bear emptied the third basket. We already had 66 nuts. Little bear got 25 more. Five and six. Five plus five is 10 and one extra. Oh, that's a group of 10 over with one extra. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91 seeds. All right, I will be able to now bake my blue ribbon blueberry pie. After they finished the dinner, the little cub smelled wonderful blueberry smells from the oven. Mama Bear said, I'm proud of you for working so hard. Pie is ready. Each of you deserve a fair bear share. So there's little left, just a couple of nuts. One or two berries, a few seeds, and four blueberry cub fun. So if you had one big pie and four bear cubs, how would you know how to fix it so everybody got the share? I have to divide it. I have to cut it up. And if I cut it down the middle, there are two equal parts. If I cut them two halves apart, there would be four equal big pieces for four big bears to go out and get a fair bear share. Fair bear share. 